Hello everyone. In today's video we will explore the deepest and the darkest parts of our planet, where the sunlight never reaches and everything is drowning in darkness. The temperatures over here is extremely cold and the pressure is more than 1,000 times what we experience on land. It's like having 50 jumbo jets piled on top of a person. Despite these extreme conditions, studies reveal a diverse organism habitat with unique adaptations, does live in the Mariana Trench. We will also explore the newly discovered creatures that inhabit these extreme conditions and techniques that are used to bring these creatures up, as it's a challenging task to bring these organisms safely, as almost all organisms will die due to decreased external pressure. The trench sits like a crescent-shaped dent in the floor of the Western Pacific Ocean East of the Mariana Islands, where it gets its name, the trench spans over 1,500 miles long, with an average width of around 43 miles and a depth of almost 7 miles. That's nearly three times deeper than the site where the wreckage of the RMS Titanic lies in the Atlantic Ocean. To understand its depth, if our planet's tallest mountain were placed inside it upside down, it would surpass in height. The Mariana Trench was first discovered and identified in 1875 during the Challenger Expedition, a pioneering oceanographic expedition led by the British Royal Navy. This expedition, which lasted from 1872 to 1876, aimed to explore the depths of the world's oceans. Very few people have descended to the Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the Mariana Trench. The first human historical trip was by Jacques Picard and Don Walsh in the Trieste in 1960. The Canadian filmmaker and ocean explorer James Cameron made a similar solo journey into the abyss in 2012. While there, he took pictures, the first snapshots ever in the Challenger Deep Pause. To reach his goal, Cameron had a 24-foot submersible design that had a window that was nine and a half inches thick to withstand the enormous pressure of the deep. Since then, roughly half a dozen ocean explorers have successfully reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and many more remotely operated vehicles have completed expeditions. Despite the lack of light and the hostile, acidic conditions in the trench, a surprising number of organisms live there. There are more than 200 known microorganisms and small creatures that live there, including crustaceans and amphipods. Let's understand how these creatures survive in these extreme conditions. Fish and other organisms in the Mariana Trench have adapted to survive the extreme conditions of high pressure, low temperature and lack of light. These adaptations include specialized body structures, slow metabolism and the ability to withstand high pressure. However, due to the extreme conditions, many organisms die during recovery. This has led to the development of pressure-retaining samplers to collect animals from the deep sea. In 1969, the first effective sampler was created for filtering plankton-like animals over 2,700 meters deep. Since then, these devices have evolved to capture larger benthic animals, even from the greater depths. However, capturing fish remains more challenging due to their mobility. Some samplers were deployed on submersibles that can dive up to 2,300 meters to collect species like shrimp and other fishes. Nonetheless, retrieving animals from extraordinary depths, such as the Mariana Trench, is harder due to the immense water pressure. As we wrap up, it's clear the Mariana Trench holds numerous secrets that scientists have barely begun to uncover. Until next time, remember there's always more to discover in the deep abyss of Mariana Trench.